Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Amanda here. I cannot believe it is already the time to do June favorites. Number one, this is my first favorites video. And number two, where the heck is the summer going? How the heck, how is it the end of June? I don't understand it, but I figured I'd film my very first favorites video. I might as well start with June, even though this month has been like the least amount of makeup I've ever worn in like five years seriously I've been wearing such minimal makeup I mean I kind of have a full face on right now but even then it's as toned down as it possibly can be and this is like 10 times more makeup than I've been wearing all month long but I figured I would jump in and show you my month favorites all right first off I have let's just start let's start with the skin and work out my go-to right now has been the elf oil control liquid lotion and i mix it with my cetaphil pro oily skin which i mix with my ulta self tanning drops which i mix with my spotlight from physician's formula i put all of this on my face and then i use my flat foundation brush and i blend it all in together purely because of these drops i was sick of my hands turning brown I use these drops probably three to four times a week. I just put a little drop on each of my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin, and it just keeps my face with this gorgeous tan. And the more tan my face is, the less foundation I've been wearing, I've found. My face has not ever, my face has not looked this good in a very long time. I hardly have any bright breakouts. I hardly have any bumps. I'm not saying it's because of this stuff, but because I am wearing such because I'm putting a tanner on my face, it's matching my body a lot more, and so I don't have to wear foundation. So I think that's what's helping me, is that I'm not wearing any foundation. I hardly ever wore foundation this month, like maybe two or three times. I mean, I'm wearing foundation right now, one other time, and that might have been it. I think I, I've been just wearing concealer as foundation for the most part. So these have been my go-to, like, base products i'm getting ready to go stay at my in-laws for the weekend and so i'm packing all of these in my trusty makeup bag right here these are products that i love but i haven't been using them crazy all month so that's why they're not getting mentioned but these are going in the bag for this weekend so like i said i haven't really been wearing foundation but i've been wearing concealer and i've been super into the wet and wild the photo focus um line from wet and wild i have two different shades i have a light and a little bit darker it just depends on how much coverage i'm needing that day um for the most part like if i have a little spot i need to cover i use a little bit deeper shade and then just in my inner corners i just a little dollop of the light shade and blend it out and over my eyelids just to kind of make my eyelids make look more flat and so you don't see all the veins in it and I have been loving this and the way it's sitting on my face I do still set my face even though I'm not wearing that much I have been lightly setting my face still with the NYX stay matte but not flat I've hit pan on this um this is my second one that I've gone through in the last couple months but I really really enjoy this powder I just use a big fluffy brush and dab it lightly all over my face and it really does help me stay matte I have been enjoying the glowier look though, hence why I've been putting the spotlight um, drops on, but the illuminating drops, but I still don't wanna look crazy, crazy oily. So I've still been setting it with powder and it's been looking really nice. My next powder obsessions, which I haven't been wearing as crazy much, but if I'm going full out, these are my holy grail. I absolutely love them. They're both by Essence. I have All About Matte and then Brighten Up Banana Powder. I put this under my eyes and kind of like in my T-zone area whenever I lighten up with concealer. And then if I'm super oily or if my pores are just out of control and they need to be like look a little bit smaller, I put All About Matte on and that works perfectly. So these are more so for touching up throughout the day and they're amazing and they're super cheap. You can't go wrong. Next into face products, I've been super into my Becca Chrissy Teigen palette that I got for a really good deal. Sorry, my kids are out there. That I got a really good deal at Marshalls. The highlighters actually aren't my absolute favorite. I like them for the cheeks, but I really don't like them like as an inner corner or an under brow highlight. And so I use it more like a blush topper or put it on my cheeks and put the blush over it. That's kind of how I'm liking it, but I really love this bronzer. So I need to see if, I, if Becca sells this bronzer as a single pan because that's really what I've been using this for. And since I've been taking it for the bronzer, I've been using the highlights and then I just dip into this blush. But 
I did find another blush that I really, really enjoyed. Um, the Anastasia Trio. Oh, I got this. I think this would have been in my last haul video from Marshalls. And I am obsessed with these shades. And I said it in the video because it's spring, it's summer, it's fall. You can mix it together. You can make it super bright. You can make it super dark. I'm obsessed, obsessed. And I really enjoy this color actually in my crease. With the Lately all I've been doing is putting bronzer in my crease. And this with my bronzer in the crease is like amazing. I absolutely love this blush right now. It blends so well. All of them do. And it, it sits on the cheeks for a really long time and I absolutely love it. Did I mention that I'm in a huge hurry? So that's why this video is gonna be like boom, boom, boom. Next up, we have highlighters. I like these both for exactly the same reason. I have the Kevin Aquan Neo Highlighter on right now. Both of these, again, I picked up at Marshalls. I have a mental haul video. This one is an ombre, it goes dark to light. And then the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow in medium, which kind of has like a pinky golden tone to it. They both just give you that like glow from within and I'm super, super into that right now. I'm not really wanting a stark highlight right now. I'm liking, I take a blush brush and I put it all over my cheeks. I put it all up. I put it on my nose. I put it on my chin. Put it on my cupid's bow. I put it on my forehead. Like I basically just douse my entire face in this. But it's not like, I just look healthy. That's, and I am have oily skin. Oh my goodness. There are being fire trucks out there. I'm sorry. I don't normally like a super highlighted look because I am oily. But it's summertime, I'm gonna sweat. You're, everyone's sweating, everyone's kinda extra glowy, and so I'm just leaning into it a little bit more, and I absolutely love that glowy look. Especially, I've been like bleaching my teeth, I've been getting an extra tan, like in a good way. It's fake, I've just been using like, the, which that should be in here, but it's on here right now. Um, I've really been enjoying like the soundless tan from Jergens. I have like the one that you do in the shower and then like the body lotion. I really enjoy those. But a tan, white teeth, glowy, pink lip. It's my go-to for the summertime. Oh my God, they're crazy, they're crazy. For eyebrows, I've just been keeping it crazy simple. I've been just brushing them up, putting the gel in first, and then just defining the edges when they need to find. Don't judge these brows right now. I did these a little bit different with different products, and I'm not as into them today, but I'm in a hurry and I'm not gonna fix them. The Urban Decay brow blade is really good, but I ran out of the pencil side and I just have the ink side left. So I'm using that up, and I really enjoy the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, but again, I ran out of that one, and so I jumped into these this month. I have the Brow Stylist Definer from L'Oreal, and the Brow Precise Micro Crayon from Maybelline. It wasn't until just this moment that I realized that they weren't the same eyebrow pencil. I just figured I had them in two different shades. They work exactly the same. They work pretty much like Precisely My Brow or um, Anastasia. The only difference is, is these break really easily because they're cheaper. So I'm using them to get through them. I really do like them, but at the end of the day, I probably will go back to my other ones. But I know it's weird because they're my favorites, but I've been using them nonstop and they've been performing really well. It's just, I press a little bit too hard and so I break them a little easier. So I will probably go back to precisely my brow. Um, and I've been setting them religiously with a 24 hour brow setter and I'm out of it. Like I'm almost completely out. Luckily I have a full size one down below that I can jump into because I really like this. I tried using like a cheap elf one today and I think that's why my brows like went wonky. So I'm sorry. I'll come back to you benefit. I'll come back. All right, moving on to mascara. I have been obsessed with Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. I, up until that one, I've been obsessed with the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit, which I still really like that one. I like the wand better on the Bad Gal Bang, but I like the formula more on this one, and I like the price tag on this one a lot more. So this one I have the Bad Gal Bang on right now but they're lacking. So I'm going to add a little bit of this real quick. This is phenomenal. I absolutely love it. It's got a huge applicator though, which if I'm in a hurry, all I do is make a mess with it. But I love this mascara and you can't beat the price. And last but not least, we have lip products. And in the summertime, I love a good gloss. I have two of the Jeffree Star lip glosses. I have... Control Freak and Candy Drip. 
And then I also have the, the Fenty Gloss Balm and Fussy. And oh, these three glosses are amazing. I put them on every single color. It does not matter what color lipstick I have underneath. These three shine and they're beautiful and they last a long time. They're not sticky. They don't glide too much, but they glide just right. It's not like they're gonna drip off my lips. They are beautiful. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to order more of the Jeffree Star lip glosses. All right, guys, that is my June favorites. Honestly, I haven't been wearing that much makeup to have any dislikes. If I have any dislikes, I'd say it's probably this e.l.f. Um, it's just a two-sided clear. I'm just gonna throw it away right now. I was gonna give it a benefit of doubt, but I'm done. One side is for eyebrows and one side is for eyelashes. I do not like the white side of my eyebrows and my eyebrows don't feel like they are sat down at all. So that's in the trash. I'm gonna break out my benefit again. Put this on top. This, I feel like I could like withstand a hurricane and my brows won't go anywhere. Not that I'm going to a hurricane, but I like the option of my brows staying in place. So. Sorry, benefit that I walked away for a couple of minutes, but I'm back and forever yours. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That would make my entire day. <sighs> I am excited to be back to filming makeup videos. I said this, this probably will come out after it, but I did a get ready with me real quick right before this. And it was the first time I'd sat down and filmed a video in a couple weeks. And it's just fun to sit back down. And even if I'm just talking to myself, it's fun just to sit and talk when it's not to a little kid. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully my next video, I might have my new desk set up. My desk came in, my chair came in. I just kind of get got to get things organized. The camera's like strategically placed right now because over there, it's just a crap show right now. But right here, it's nice and clean. All right, for the thousandth time. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.